accomplished. One of the goals that I have set for myself going into this new year is that I wanted to have less empty jars on my canning shelf, which also meant that I needed to start holding myself a little bit more accountable of getting those jars filled up. So that leads me into today's video. I wanted to do some easy winter canning. Today is our last day at home before the kids head back to school tomorrow, so it's looking a little chaotic. We have a lot of loose ends that we need to get tied up. And I have a few errands that I need to run, so I knew whatever I got in here and tried to get accomplished, it needed to be short, sweet, and simple, which is exactly what these canning recipes are. If you're new, hi and welcome. My name is Brooke, and every Tuesday we get in here and we basically try to get something accomplished. Pizza is a go-to meal in my house, so I like to keep pizza sauce on hand. What I really like about this recipe is it's very beginner friendly. It makes a small batch, so it's not very intimidating if you're just starting out and new to canning. The last time I did a look over in my pantry, I found I had a lot of canned tomatoes and tomato sauce. So I'm cheating a bit today and I'm using these up instead of fresh tomatoes. This recipe is also nice because you just dice and dump everything into a large cooking pot and blend. It's full of tomatoes, onions, garlic, simple staple seasonings, and sugar. Be sure to check out the description box below because I'll have the full recipe and steps listed there. blender is something you don't own a regular blender will work just fine my immersion stick is about as old as dirt it is one of the first kitchen tools I purchased when my husband and I moved into our first apartment together which is over 10 years ago now <laughs> I picked it up from a little thrift store for a whopping four dollars and you can see I have never taken the price tag off I should probably do that If you're new to canning, I highly suggest that you take an afternoon or just when you have some downtime and read up on proper canning steps. The last thing that you want is for your jars to not properly seal and all your hard work on making something shelf stable go to waste. I'm gonna pop up a website down here for you guys that you should check out. It is the National Center for Home Preservation. Take some time and explore because any questions that you have, you can definitely find an answer to on here. It is a great place to reference back, even if you are a seasoned canner. I find myself all the time referencing back to this website. It is just a great resource and tool to take advantage of, so definitely check it out. If 
If you were here hanging out during our last canning adventure, you guys heard me talk about this Carry Electric Canner. I've done a lot of easy canning with it in my downtime. I've canned up some pickle relish and orange marmalade to name a few and I am absolutely loving it. It was a great investment for sure. I will be sure to link it in the description box if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Not only can you water bath can in it, but you can also tackle pressure canning recipes in this. All around, an awesome kitchen tool to have. You press a button and it does all the work for you. Another kid-friendly meal I lean on a lot is Sloppy Joe's. I love having some jar sauce on hand for the nights I'm running behind on dinner. This is a fast and easy recipe as well, requiring a lot of kitchen staples you probably already have. Cheating again, I am using some cans of tomato sauce that were hidden away in the pantry. This would be a great canning recipe to try at home if you're looking for a way to use up all of those summer peppers you may have tossed in the freezer and have forgotten about. Well friends, that's going to wrap it up for today. I want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. I had a blast with you guys as always. And as your friend, I want to remind you whatever goals you may have made for this year, please be kind to yourself along the journey. Rome wasn't built in a day. If taking the clothes from the dryer and folding them is all you can give for the day, then I am still so proud of you for basically getting it all done. But until next time, I'll see you later, friend. Bye.